Hello, my name is Zagdar, I'm from Oilvent. I'd like to walk you through how to change the parameters on the gene machine. So you want to modify some of the parameters so the machine will fish exactly how you want it to. And you will do that by, firstly, taking a look at the menu, figuring out what uh, part of the, what parameter you want to change. And for example, we will be looking now at uh, weight uh, under the hook symbol. If we press the hook once, that brings up the value 45, so 0D45, which stands for weight. That will be the weight level before the machine says that we've caught fish and it will begin to reel in the line. For example, let's say that you would like to change uh, the weight level before the machine senses fish on the line. Well, you can take a look at the menu here and uh, for the hook symbol, you'll see 0D and then weight. That's going to be the item in the menu that you'll want to change when setting that level. So we'll press the hook once, that will bring up the first item in the menu, 0D, and says 45. Let's say we want to change that and increase the value to 55. Use the plus on the keypad, and you get to 55, and you can save that value by pressing the hook again. And now you set the level higher up, and that could be because of envir environmental reasons, uh, the sinker you're using, or that you would like to get more fish on the line before it starts reeling in. Could be a number of different reasons why we'd like to change this. And this is probably the most important item on the menu that you will be changing regularly, depending on the environment um, out at sea. There are lots of other items here that we could potentially change, uh, but we will move on to uh, a different type of item, a different type of parameter that's listed under this um, circle, the two arrows. If you go to 5B and on that menu, it's called max pull. So this is the maximum torque at which the machine is reeling in the line. Standard set is 40%. And that will be good for, uh, for most fishermen and for most types of fisheries. But in some cases, you may want to increase that value. Could be if you're targeting big coal fish in deeper waters, uh, or a, a mackerel fishing setup where you have lots of different pulleys and friction on the line and a heavy sinker, for example. So 40%, it might be a bit too little in that particular context. So we're going to increase it by five, no, let's say 10%, but we're going to uh, be conservative now in the beginning until we get a bit more experience using this. So I, you know, again, use five to 10% at a time and then save it. We've said 50% of maximum torque, maximum pulling power, Saving the value, pressing this once, that's it. We can then return to the front by pressing the R button here once. And now we can see the depth level on the screen. Let's say that we want to uh, change the weight value back to standard value and we uh, forgot what that value was, or we don't want to refer to the manual. Well, we see that currently it says 55. If you press clear once, it brings you back to 45 and then you can save the value there. And you can do that with every single item on the menu. After a period of time, you've maybe changed lots of different parameters and you fooled around with the machine for quite a while and you're actually not happy with what's been done and you just want to factory reset the entire thing. Well, you can also do that and that's easy enough. You'll just hold the clear button for five seconds and then it beeps signifying you that it's, it's done the change. All of the values have now been reset and the machine operates like how you received it. And that's basically it. So at this point, I'd like to encourage you to try out a few things, fool around with it, create your own perfect recipe for the fishery that you are targeting. Best of luck.